Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Eternal, and I'm back with another video. And today, we're playing this demo. I'm not gonna lie, this is my first time playing a demo. It's a demo called Lost Lullabies. Now, it's a horror game. It's supposed to be like a multiplayer, but I don't know exactly what it is. I don't know what it's about, and but we're gonna find out together. You know what I'm saying? I been waiting for a horror game that I could play with my dogs you know what I'm saying if anything when I do play a horror game with my dogs I'm gonna stream it I just brought my twitch channel back up y'all go check it out and you already see you already know the boy got the hair done go 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 check the check out the person that did my hair um I don't remember the name I'm not gonna lie that's that's on me wait no 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 the lock bully that that go check the go check her out but anyways with any further without any further to do let's get into it you know what i'm saying let's let's hop into this demo so all right let's check this out play tutorial don't forget to wish this on steam of course of course so who is this game made by Okay, so hey there, game. welcome to the team. Let's remind ourselves it's why we're here and what our mission Pugsy is. Studios. This is the Lowell Let's Orphanage. Good, in 1960, a fire broke out and everyone here lost their lives. The town of Lowell never speaks kindly about this orphanage. Okay, okay, they say okay. it's cursed and that the children were treated very badly. Even after 20 years, no one who entered here ever came out the same. If okay, you are ready okay, okay. to solve this mystery, let's get started. Let's solve it, bro. Let's start with the hey, basics. Siri. Grab the flashlight and thermometer first. We'll open the fuse box, then look for the coldest room to find the ghost room. Oh, Lord, I can't pronounce it. Oh, this is about to be something serious. This is giving, um, what's that one game? All right, I'm ready now. Let's find the fuse box. It's giving, um, bro, what's the name of that game? I literally have it in my Steam playlist. Like, why can't I remember the name? It's actually embarrassing, chat. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, Phasmophobia! It's giving Phasmophobia vibes, bro. Get out. Look at the door. It says, get out. Pretty I see creepy, that. right? I see that. Say it, and let's see what will happen. Get out! Get out. Also, you can use the spirit oh. box to communicate oh. with all the ghosts. That's wrong. You can ask them any questions you have. Their answers yeah. might not always yeah. be helpful, but they can provide Turn valuable clues dancer. throughout the game. Time to put my heart in a bag and nobody gets hurt. Okay, bro. Stop playing all these beats, bro. Now, let's move forward. You'll need to open the Hello, is anybody ahead. here? Head towards the anybody here? Hello? That's what I thought. Open the fuse box. I'm surprised the fuse box work. Like, look at this place. Oh, open the fuse box first. So where's the fuse box at? Now, turn left and interact with the fuse box inside the red room. There are four buttons, and the ghosts love to change the combination each time. They must really enjoy playing games. Start pressing the buttons to find the right combination. Zero, one, one. Great. Now that we have electricity, really right we there, can chat. see everything. Oh, oh. Shit, the radio's busted. What am I gonna do now? Oh, I thought they were about to be on some, 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 uh... <laughs> Come to me, my little pawn. Come closer, don't be shy. The secrets of the shadows won't reveal themselves. Let me show you the truth lurking in the dark. Okay, 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 Hello, okay. stranger. Are you lost? <laughs> or are you looking for me? Everyone's favored, especially the dead ones. <laughs> I assume you are looking for my friends. <laughs> I would like to help you with my goods, but I see you don't have trinkets for me. 
You hear that right? That little whisper in the wind. It's calling out, calling for something only you can find. A trinket, a treasure, hidden away, waiting just for you. Oh, nothing, Don't bro. keep it waiting. Either. Don't keep me waiting. Time's slipping away, tick-tock, tick-tock. Go now, tick -tock, tick -tock. before it's too late. Mwahaha. Who's yapping, bro? Uh, to deal with oh, whoa. It's right there, chat. <gasps> My hands are full. My hands are full. My hands are full. My hands are full. I, I heard you. How, how do I put it down? Well, how do I clear my inventory? Sorry. I'm so far out of sight. Yeah, that's all. Sounds about right. Drop. Ah, the glimmer stone. It's no ordinary rock. No, no. It glows. It shifts. Goodbye. Be careful. If it's glowing brightly, that means I'm close to the ghost. Got it. Understood. Okay, let's find this ghost room, chat. Let's see what this ghost room is about. It also kind of reminds me of Raph, like with the models and how it, like, just. Just how it looks, it kind of reminds me of Raph. I miss Raph. Me and my friends, uh, on Silent Island, we, we did like a little video. We did play Raph on screen. That don't go off. That's not creepy at all. Brackello, lock down, lock down. Okay, that wasn't doing that. That was not doing that. Oh wait, this is a ghost room. Yeah, that, that's a ghost room. Oh, the ghost room is right here. I just got the setup. So you you gotta just imagine My how long it's gonna full. take for them to get all that out of the way, you know what I'm saying? Why you gotta drop some every time too? Sorry, okay. So red projector. Uh drop this I guess. Uh, notepad or notebook. And, uh, the EMF is not here. It's, it's not here, bro. It's, it's not here. Where is the EMF?
Okay. All right, we've gathered all the evidence we need. Now yep. let's head back to the angel statue and choose which right type down. of ghost right we're right dealing right with. Yep. From the looks of it, seems like our ghost is an Anku. This is literally let's not waste any time. Move it, move it. Mark the ghost scribble in another book. So this is like the rap version of Phasmophobia. I thought this was about to be like some... Oh, no. Mark the ghost scribbles. What ghost scribbles? It. Now let's head to the angel statue. So... Wait! The ghost is starting a hunt! Find a place to hide quickly! Stay quiet and don't make any noise! This wasn't a... <laughs> I got you, man. There's no ghost, don't worry. But remember, if a ghost does start a hunt, you need to hide and stay completely silent. Now go mark Anku in your notebook and end the day at the angel statue. Welcome to the team, my friend. You've earned your stripes. Yeah, end it. That's it. So it's literally just phasmophobia. Chat, I'm not gonna lie. I thought I thought it was gonna be more than that. How how far are we in? 13 minutes. That's actually insane. Yeah, I thought I thought it was gonna be longer than that. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, honestly. Since, since that's that's the thing, then I say since we're already on a horror level, might as well might as well watch um a video, you know. That happens a lot, but safe light could have helped. Only thing is, I hope it's showing. It was Halloween night of 2007, freshman year in high school, and I was with my friends Ivan, Ryan, and Jesse. As the Mario we Bros. Were dressed as the Super what? Mario characters. I was Luigi since I was the second tallest. Ivan was Mario since he's short and buff. Not that Mario is buff. Jesse was Waluigi because he's freakishly <laughs> tall and skinny, and Ryan was Wario because he's just really fat. So they were the perfect group costumes for us. We live in a very non-congested suburban neighborhood with a decent amount of space in between houses. On Halloween, that's the worst thing ever. Less bang for your buck. We were trick-or-treating for hours, way past dark, and eventually came the time when most trick-or-treaters were heading home. My feet started to hurt, and I had to constantly switch arms for holding the now 10-pound pillow sack of candy. Dang, how long y'all was out there for? Until our bags were completely full. A lot of the houses by now weren't answering anymore. It was probably past their cutoff time for giving candy to trick-or-treaters. Okay. Approaching our next why house, does Mario, Bro, why does Mario look so mad? Like, just look at him, bro. Why he look so pissed? Wario looks worried. And uh, Luigi and Waluigi looks happy. Like, what's Pulled going on? on the stoop, which was the best feeling ever. I was the one to get close enough to realize it was empty, which was the worst feeling ever. I turned around when I heard a knock at the window of the house. We all looked at the window. Couldn't see anyone, but heard someone call out, Wait. The door opened, and an older man, late 40s, already balding, stepped outside. He told us to come inside so he can get us some more candy. I said we come could just inside. wait Come inside? What? No. He responded saying something along the lines of, 
nonsense. Take Come on in. We'll get you your candy. Come on, Boots. I then stepped in and said, It's all right. Come on, Dan. Let's go. I told the guy to take care and apologized. He just stood there watching as we walked off, not saying anything. Who's the person in the background, bro? I felt bad, but at the same time, that guy seemed like a creeper, and I figured I just dodged a bullet not going in there. If the story ended there, it wouldn't be scary. So, of course, it didn't end there. Okay, I thought we skipped a few of the guy's neighboring houses just to get there. further away and continued on with our business. We were walking down close to the nature What's, preserve what now, is that? so there weren't many houses around us. At this point, we were now walking back closer to Jesse's house. I yeah, noticed Ryan had stopped back. walking, and I turned around to see what's up. He said he heard someone moving from behind the trees in the preserve. Now, this was before everyone's phones had flashlights, so we couldn't just go searching in the woods for someone. Besides, we were just telling Ryan that it must have been a raccoon or something. You may think this is a bit of a cliche, but when things like this happen in real life, you always assume the more logical yeah, possibility. True. It's just natural. Why would we assume? Like this one time, like we were going trick or treating, and and then I knocked on the door, and no one answered, and I looked to my right, and it's just this dude in a clown costume just standing there. So I was like, hmm, that must just be a bird. I was like, "Whoa! It might have that just that might just be a bird." No, nah, I'm trolling, bro. I, I got chased, bro, and, and I'm not gonna lie. We we did not grab no candy. Soon we were being followed. I had to put my arm around Ryan's shoulder, and nudge him forward. A little ways down the street, <laughs> me and Ivan picked up on Lock the sound in, as well. Bruh. When we all stopped, the sounds of the footsteps from beyond the trees stopped as well. Ivan yelled at the obvious stalker to go away, or we would beat the shit out of them. Bro needs to lock in, because there's no way he, he's over here trying to fight the person that's following him. What if bro got a gun? Like, come on. Like, I let's knew he be was smart just bluffing, here. though. I could hear the nervousness in his voice. I mean, they could have jumped him, the though. The snap of a twig from beyond the trees. You got Mario and Luigi. Like, come on, display. bro. Like, you don't think Mario and Luigi fight, bro? Like, like, come on. Look at this, bro. Mario and what, Luigi. What are you talking about? Luigi! Luigi! Like, come on, bro. RDC World did it so good, bro. Like, like Mario and Luigi, bro. Like, you don't want to mess with them, bro. Like, they, they could, bro. Come on. And all of us. Me, Jesse, and Ryan all ran for it. Ivan was at first. There's trying. no way, bro. There's no way. Like, like I said, bro. Here we go. Like, come on, bro. Attack, but he quickly followed after realizing we had all taken off. We ran down the dark street, yeah, nobody and we all noticed the, fight, the sounds of at least two or three pairs of footsteps crushing the twigs and leaves in the woods. <laughs> we banked it hard right down Jesse Street when it finally came up, and ran straight for his backyard, entering his house through the back door. The first thing we did was peek out through his living room window. We couldn't see anyone. We all had to gather our thoughts and discuss what the hell just went down in his living room, when all of a sudden we heard Jesse's backyard gate slam shut. Jesse dove to turn off the lights. There was a click and a bang from down in the den. It was more than likely Jesse's back door. We all agreed to go down armed with <laughs> knives and face Some them. Some boys had knives in there. Jesse him. turned on his back door light, but there was nobody out there. Just then the front door opened, and we all screamed like animals. Jesse's mom and sisters came rushing That's downstairs. They had just gotten home from their friend's little house party. That is so embarrassing. We all rested assured knowing it was just them. Jesse explained what happened, but made it seem a lot less dramatic. Me and Ivan went home after that and called it a night. At 12.30 a.m., I got a disturbing text message. It was from Jesse. It said, it wasn't my mom. I texted back what? saying, what? He responded back quickly, saying, it wasn't my mom in the backyard. My fingers slammed the buttons on my phone, responding back, what do you mean? There was a long pause before he finally told me that his mom and sisters said they never went in the backyard. What? I told him to immediately check the backyard from his upper deck. Bro he might have somebody in his house. Back. He also told his mom everything, and she had already called the police. They didn't find anyone back there, but Jesse did mention the guy who invited us in while trick-or-treating. 
nothing ever became of that, and nothing ever happened at Jesse's Ugh. house again after that one Halloween night. Look at Link, bro. That was it. This is what we've trained for, people. Omega incursion. Where? Everywhere. Oh, that was it, chat. Well, um, I enjoyed that video. If y'all did, make sure you hit that like button. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'm Jay. Um, also part of the Eternal Mafia. You know what I'm saying? We all mafia bosses over there. You know what I'm saying? So if y'all want to check out group content with me and my nephews, go check that out. And also, um, Oh, turn on post notifications so if I make a video, you'll be notified, you know what I'm saying? And once again, bro, go check out my Twitch. I just made a new Twitch called Etern The True Eternal J. Or The True... I don't... Right, I just couldn't do my original name because the first one was taken. So, and then the, someone already had, like, Eternal J or something like that. So, I have to do the true one because I'm the, I'm the only Eternal J. No, I said the true eternal, the eternal J. That is way cooler. Ah, okay, chat. I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna change it because that that is dope. I'm not gonna lie, to that he 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 cooking up. He cooking up. But anyways, have a great rest of your night and a great rest of your morning and afternoon wherever you are. If you're in France, if you're in Canada, wait, hold on. Those two are the same, like, aren't they? That's besides the point, though. I don't know. You tell me. But. Whew, wherever you are, I hope you have an amazing week.